and welcome to the Oddity Archive, the show where no concept is too high, nor are we too high for any concept. Yeah, that joke was better on paper. Anyway, uh, it just so happens to be the 20th installment of VHS Vault today, and not only that, it's a double whammy, it's also the 250th regular archive episode to date. But uh, as far as these little milestone episodes of mine go, I want to do something a bit opposite. So in this case, I want to do something a little simpler and also uh, go to the bottom of the barrel. And I've got a couple of real stinkers for you here today. Uh, I Actually, I think I can safely say without hyperbole, objectively speaking, these are the two worst videos I've done on VHS Vault to date. But before I get to it, I think I need to give this the proper build up. So, of course, back in the 80s, especially the mid-80s, uh, we were in that sweet spot of home video being pretty widely adopted, pretty common in a good chunk of households. But also, it's still been a bit of a wild west in terms of the content. So, on the one extreme, the mainstream end of things, you had the usual movies and reissues of TV shows and kitty videos and so on. And then you had that area where people were still just throwing whatever idea at the proverbial wall. So you'd wind up with these really esoteric how-to videos, and in the case of today's episode, high-concept videos. And to me, those are really interesting videos because they kind of fall outside of the realm of what you would think of with home video material. So uh, entertainment and or educational material. It's just kind of on its own little plane. Uh, I guess you could say kind of a quasi-interactive sort of thing. But uh, I think we can safely say that the most famous of these videos was uh, certainly one of the first. I'm not quite sure if it was the first, but uh, it was this uh, actually kind of half satirical and half therapeutic, I guess you could say, uh, on the part of the maker, thing called Rent-A-Friend. Hi! <laughs> I'm Sam, and... Um... Basically, I'm here because I want to be your friend. How's that sound? <laughs> it's been reissued on DVD, and I'd be willing to bet quite heavily that at this point it's outsold the old VHS tapes. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, by the way, future Wild Chicago host Ben Hollis portraying your friend for, I think, 42 minutes uh, under the alias Sam. Now, uh, moving back to our basic concept here, whether they were influenced or not, or even aware of Rent-A-Friend, it seemed to set off this chain reaction of these quasi-interactive videos, and a very long one, lasting into the early DVD era, late 90s, early 2000s. But uh, as for my videos, the two that I'm covering here, I think I can safely say are the most annoying of the lot. So let's get down to business here. Today's first video is what's on the box. It's easily the worst of the two. We'll get the really painful one out of the way here. From 1991, it's Video Nag. And that should be plenty self-explanatory. Now, if I flip over to the back here and I'll cut in a scan of the box... It looks like this was intended to be given as a gag gift, just minus any real discernible gag. But uh, the best way I can describe this video is it seems to belong to that school of comedy, that strain of comedy that was going around from the mid-80s to early 90s, where it was kind of that anti-comedy, that uh, awkward alternative humor, uh, which tended to be just kind of grotesque more often than not. And uh, case in point, this video, it feels like a joke that's building up to some really good climax, like the video nag's going to get her comeuppance, but of course it never happens. Now, uh, structurally speaking, this tape is very simple. It's just a series of five basic theatrical-styled monologues, each clocking in at about five minutes apiece, 
and they are just absolute torture. And in the name of everyone's sanity, I'm only going to run two out of the five here. And for those of you that don't like it when I talk over the material, today you might actually appreciate my talking over it. Because even if you think I'm not funny and I have an annoying voice and that I'm just terrible, I have no delivery, I guarantee you I am absolutely Mr. Smooth compared to the video nag. Worldwide Entertainment Marketing, now known as World Economic Forum. A lot more profitable. Video nag. Any resemblance to a horse is purely coincidental. My previous statement stands. Well, it's about time you got up. Well, at least they uh, forgot to mic her. Till me. And I suppose you want a big country breakfast, too. Well, yes, uh, with lots of beef and dairy. Don't know why I just thought of that. That disgusting hog. Look at that gut. The cholesterol is surging through your veins right now, getting ready to explode all over my hand scrub floors. Eh, I'd say that caboose of yours is more likely to blow. Lord knows you spew enough shit. You made me breakfast. Every morning I drag my pain rag body out of bed, take the senile old dog out, and then I have the supreme privilege of cooking up a porky pig breakfast to be consumed by the human blood. Who is interchangeable with the senile dog. Oh yeah, I remember the last time you made me breakfast. As I recall, it was on my birthday. 1982 stale Fruit Loops that- Now you know that is not true. I've never cooked anything for you. A week it must have been strained through a hairnet. And look at this beautiful kitchen. All the technical wonders of 1958. The funnies page of a 1958 newspaper at least. Kitchen. When was the last time you saw a refrigerator like that? Well, I was popping pimples and waiting for my braces to come off. You're that old, huh? Last time you saw garbage disposal like this. Well, I should detach it and stick your mouth on the other end. Keep projecting, lady. Oh, the stove. Talk about Smithsonian Institute material. Well, why don't we just grab a few logs, fire up the old babe, and put a couple of pterodactyl eggs on it. Wilma! And they say my references are outdated. Is that your breath? I doubt it. You're emitting 99.9% .9 of the hot air in here. Your teeth. My eyes are watering from the stench. Oh, and there's that coffin again. <laughs> you know, if I may play script doctor for a moment, if you're going to make a video like this, you probably don't want to be so specific. Either that or the geniuses that made this really thought only a minuscule demographic of men would pick this up. It's what you eat. Batman cereal, candy corn, Cape Cod potato chips dipped in ketchup. Ugh. Ever hear of vitamins? Whoa, whoa, 1991, hello. You know Probably don't want to instantly date your video either. Hey, you must have some happy little children judging from all the you and the ho-hos and the cheese noodles that you buy, and I say no. They're for a 35-year-old who thinks he's five. Oh, just because he plays the occasional video game. Jeez. Certainly not when your stupid jock friends come over and watch baseball on our television because they're too cheap mooching off us to get their own. And even if they had the sensibility to buy their own, they couldn't even turn it on. You know, I'd be real offended if I weren't so heavily sedated. Maine, serving schlitz and ding-dongs to a bunch of overweight loser jocks reminiscing about their high school glory days. Why do I get the feeling this was written by an old, rather clueless, high school drama club nerd with an axe to grind? For the record, I was not a jock at all, nor a drama nerd. Looking for a job as you did on sports statistics. Well, you'd be a millionaire now, wouldn't you? Joe 
just once I'd like to see you get a job that requires an IQ level higher than a yodel. Higher than a yodel? Well, one of us has to go to work, so of course you've made me late again. But you just said he works. Oh, never mind. Bathroom, lift up the lid. And when the cartoons are over, turn the television off. I'll be late again tonight because I have to kiss the boss's butt to get a raise. So if you're still coherent after your 12-pack, well, don't wait up for me. Bye-bye. No, oh, I, I won't be drinking. I'll still be trying to wrap my head around that higher than a yodel line. Does that make Slim Whitman some kind of super genius? You see, I told you, a huge line. I said we gotta get there before 8.30. If we don't get there before 8.30, there's gonna be a huge line. I guess you didn't make yourself clear. Uh, you had to watch the last 10 minutes of your monster truck pull tape. A tape you've seen so many times that the neighbors must think we have a big block Chevy in the living room as a conversation piece. Hey, Easy Riders Volume 8 is a classic. Bimbos in bikinis shooting assault rifles tape. Every night I gotta watch Bambi and Tina shoot two 23 rifle cartridges in Keep rolling. Wreck while giggling and wriggling the heavy metal music. Please tell me that tape really exists. I'll certainly take it over video nag. And look at the line at the concession stand. I'm so hungry and of course we couldn't get a hamburger on the way. Which would have made you even later. Okay, I'm convinced that the theater nerd that wrote this wrote it while intently watching Les Miserables. And pours nuclear butter all over it. I'm throwing the whole thing on the floor. I don't care. It's their job to clean up after me anyway. Truly a woman ahead of her time. As long as it's got grease and sugar on it. You don't care that my thighs can turn into cottage cheese eating. Oh, it's too late for that, sweetie. As long as you get your junk food high, well, that's all you care about. And don't forget the babes with rifles. I may be simple, but I'm hardly a simple ton. What? Maybe you want to wait in a big, long line. If it gets me out of seeing mermaids, yes. You know, in real life, best case scenario, she'd have had the tar beaten out of her after pissing off the wrong person. Or worst case scenario for her, those veins would have all collapsed and she'd be dead. Why can't art be more like real life? Hey, look, there's a poster for that new French movie everyone's talking about. Of course, we won't be able to see it because it requires reading subtitles. Doesn't it, honey? Actually, I'm totally okay with seeing it. This band won't go further than five minutes without your car chases and your mass murderings and anything to spur your animalistic desires for violence. She does realize that French films tend to be more uh, salacious than American ones, right? But uh, stupid me, European instantly equals high art. You think you could get him just a little tighter? You know, you're not 16 anymore. Who are you trying to impress? The teeny boppers in there and the video games? Oh, I'm sure they'll be really impressed with your 48-inch waist. Come to think of it, maybe the schmuck that wrote this is just snotty and believes that working class people are really like this. Joke's on him. This tape sold squat at the time. And your soda and run into the little boys' room. You know, that drives me insane. But not as insane as Crazy Eddie's prices. Now those commercials are high art. Flap their gums as much as you do. And remember, the screen is not your television and it's not your living room, so clam up! Oh, so I brought my two robot friends with me for no reason whatsoever? Well, it's about time! Now if you start making those grunting sounds, I'll scream. Oh, that noisy stomach. Put a sock in it. You know, even if you took this as the rantings of a mad woman shrieking into a void, it still wouldn't function as comedy. And yes, if the video doesn't have to be funny, neither do I. Well, now we know where DX7s go when they've been misbehaving, don't we?
sometimes I think I'm a little too logical for my own good. So, case in point, today's second and final video, in my mind, should be pretty educational. Now, uh, stick with me here, but in my mind, this video should be the video equivalent of a Betsy Wetsy doll, or any of those dolls that cry and wet themselves and so on, uh, in that it should be giving you at least a loose idea of what parenthood is going to be like. But then I realize I'm being way too logical, and I'm not being anywhere near cynical enough. And uh, dare I say, even a little too smart for it. And that doesn't happen a whole lot. So anyway, today's second and final video is, as far as I'm concerned, kind of exploitative. But uh, the video in question is... Video Baby from 1995. Now, uh, not a whole lot is going on with this thing. Uh, if anything, I think it's just really cynical. It's supposed to be half an hour's worth of you, dear viewer, just sitting there going, Oh, that's so cute! At some random infant. Uh, uh, really, as far as I'm concerned, this thing really does look like some parents' really crass attempt at turning their home movies into a tax write-off, and of course writing off all that sweet, sweet professional video gear that they'd bought. But anyway, as I mentioned, not a whole lot happens here, so I would actually say a solid half of it is just you watching the kid in the cradle, watching the kid putz around the nursery. Uh, there are some more overtly exploitative moments in here, and I will roast them accordingly. But uh, really, I'm going to have to change my methodology for this particular sequence. So I will still give off some of my usual misanthropic smartassery here. But since we have some pretty dry stretches to this thing, I want to take the opportunity, uh, because I think it does merit discussion, uh, reading off the liner notes, the pretty verbose liner notes, and uh, reading off some of the supplemental material that came with this thing. So, uh, yeah, two birds with one stone. Now, if I do have anything nice at all to say about this video, it's... At least the kid is better behaved than the video nag. You know, I think I'd be more likely to report this to the FBI over any fear of retribution for bootlegging someone's home movies. Then again, the FBI is a little whack these days. Oh, and I'm now on another watch list. IV video, because it's been sitting outdoors neglected for so long that vines have grown over it. Oh dear, the Weatherstar 4000 has gone slumming. Uh, that's great! I'm so happy! Now, uh, who the hell is the mother? In one line, funnier than all of Video Nag combined. Video Baby, soon to be thrown in the closet and forgotten like a Tamagotchi. Okay, everybody now, on three. One, two, three. Oh, that's so cute! Well, fellas, you've been on me for years about getting some full frontal female nudity on Archive. Here you go. Yes, that is an adult doing a baby voice. A live rooster in the nursery with the infant with the adult voice. If that ain't Archivian, I don't know what is. <sighs> Feeling pretty. May puke strained peas later. Okay, get that kid a ventriloquist dummy stat. There is some serious raw talent there. What Benny boy looks like when he tries to dance. That kid does a mean, sedated pterodactyl voice. 
Okay, I did not add that. For the record, every stupid sound effect you hear on this thing is on the tape. Well, nothing happens for a while here, so let me read off the first half of the back of the box here. It's here, the no-maintenance child of the 90s. For everyone who has ever thought about having a child but couldn't afford the time or expense, we proudly present Video Baby. All the excitement without the sleepless nights. All the joys without the financial responsibilities. This is the wonder of Video Baby. Feel the excitement as you open the package to find out if your video baby is a boy or girl. The eighth, misspelled, wonder of the world, video baby comes complete with birth certificate and birth announcement. Nothing else to buy, ever. And most importantly, it never needs minding. Oh, and sure, of course, the instant I leave it alone, it starts chowing down on a polyurethane popsicle. Damn kids. <laughs> Okay, again, everybody this time, with feeling, on three, one, two, three. Oh, that's so cute! She's also been known to sit cross-eyed and drooling, just staring at the clothes dryer. Well, she thinks I'm funny. Little on the slow side, though. Bath time. Is that my instruction to throw this tape into the water? <laughs> well, that was nice of the parents to close off part of the tub. It makes it easier for Freddy Krueger to drag her under. <laughs> and while the kid ingests large amounts of soap, let me read off the second half of the box here. Makes a great gift for wannabe grandparents. People who want to practice child rearing. Men, finally men can have a baby on their own. Women, sharpen those maternal instincts without the hormonal nightmares. People who already have grown up kids but would like another child without all the fuss. Teenagers, this'll make them think twice. And anyone or anything you could possibly think of. Drive your pets crazy. Be the first on your block to have the no maintenance child of the future. Your friends and relatives will be in awe. Uh, I'm gonna get my foot caught in the drain! Okay, this segment is just the kid getting herself into a nasty mental loop trying to open a Rubbermaid bin, so while the kid loses it, let me read off the tips on your tot insert card. If your video baby fusses, relax. Just hit that stop button, and before you can say, Honey, it's your turn, Junior is silent for the night. Video Baby never gets bigger. If you want it to get bigger, try a large screen TV. Handle your Video Baby with care, but don't worry if you drop it. Unlike real babies, Video Baby has no soft spots on its head to worry about. Its skeletal frame is made of resilient polystyrene and can take years of abuse without permanent damage. Video Baby never needs bathing, even though that already happened. Uh, this kid is self-cleaning, kind of like that oven in your kitchen. When traveling on airplanes, Video Baby can be easily stowed in the overhead compartment. Never expose Video Baby to extreme climate conditions. Video Baby may react adversely and refuse to play with you. Never lend out your Video Baby to friends or relatives. After playing all day away from home, your video baby might be too worn out to play with you. Let him buy one of their own. Well, the kids got the supermodel temperament down already. Right down to only wanting their bottle. I'll give it a few more years. The hipsters will be all over the Stetson and Love's look. What a cute act of breaking federal law. Granted, I can think of far worse ways to blow your cash. Like the two bucks I blew on this tape. And yes, I know that's play money. Just humor me. The kids in the hall money method is catching on with the real kids. That's scary. 
You know, I just realized that as of my making this, this kid is now 27 years old. I would have been in third or fourth grade when she was born. Now, uh, the Minot men are kind of known to be rascals, but I think I would remember uh, sowing my wild oats. Of course, now that I think about it, in spite of that, I still may owe some serious child support. Not only that, in theory, I could very well be a grandfather already. This video is anything but cute! This is scarier than any horror movie I've ever seen! Well, to wrap things up, I suppose I ought to do the responsible thing and fill out the birth certificate. Uh, video baby was delivered on this the 10th day of November in the year 1995, retroactively, to proud parents, Benny Boy, and a JVC SVHS deck. Witness, uh, none willing. Now, off to the goodwill you go. Well, that's it for today's archive. Join me next time when I freak out my stereotypical male beer-swilling jock peaked in high school neighbors by blasting video nag out my window and watch them get all confused thinking it's their actual wives. I gotta get some enjoyment out of that stupid tape somehow. I think it's a brain tumor. I got a lump right here in the back of my head. I don't really feel it. I got a lump right here on the back. What, do you think I'm crazy or something? All right, don't feel the back of my head. You're so smart. <laughs>